Today, we are going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound iron 3 hydroxide. So let's work from left to right. The first thing I see is iron. So I'm going to scan the periodic table to find out where iron is. And iron is right here, right? Iron is represented as an Fe. It's in this little block, so it's a transition metal, right? So it's a metal. That's why this is ionic. So I'm just going to write Fe for iron. But now the thing is, is that since it's a transition metal, they can have multiple different charges. What charge am I going to use? That's why there's a Roman numeral. Remember, the Roman numeral always tells you the charge of the metal. So in this case, the Roman numeral is 3. So I'm just going to write a plus 3 charge here. I know that it's a plus and not a negative because all metals have positive charges. They love to lose electrons. The next thing I see is hydroxide here. Now this one is a little tricky one, guys. I see that it's an IDE ending, which chances are, you know, it would be a non-metal on the periodic table, but this is secretly a polyatomic ion. If you try to search the periodic table for something that starts with hydrox, you're not gonna find it. So this is a polyatomic ion, guys, and I wrote it down here. So we should memorize this one, all right? Hydroxide is always an OH minus one charge. Now, since I have the two components, I have the charges, all we're gonna do is crisscross those charges just to get how many of each I need in my formula. So this plus three crisscrosses down, telling me that I need three hydroxides, and this negative one crisscrosses down, telling me that I need one iron. When you do your crisscrossing, don't worry about the positives and the negatives. We're just using these as like counting numbers for subscripts. Now I'm ready to write my formula. I got iron. I only need one of them, so I don't have to write the one. But now here's the thing, guys. If I have multiple polyatomics, which is what I have here, I have three hydroxides. I need to put that hydroxide in parentheses. So in this case, I'm gonna put parentheses, OH, close the parentheses, and now I can say I have three hydroxides. So that's how it's written, okay. And you're done. So iron three hydroxide is FeOH3. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Let's keep studying hard. Good luck on all your future tests and quizzes. And I'll see you in the next lesson. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.